Now, Turkish President Erdogan wants the United States of America to lift the sanctions on Tehran, while he also sees recent developments as a window of opportunity for Iran and the United States to reach some middle ground on the sanctions. Washington last week said that it was ready to talk to Iran about both nations returning to the nuclear accord, but Iran has reiterated that it will not make the first move to restore the pact with major powers. The deal aims at preventing Tehran from acquiring nuclear weapons. The Turkish president told his Iranian counterpart, Rouhani, that he wished the new U.S. administration would abandon unilateral sanctions on Iran and lift restrictions on the prosperity of Iranian people. He also added that statements on the issue in recent days had led to a new window of opportunity. Erdogan said, I quote, It was the most reasonable course of action for all parties to meet at the point of making the comprehensive joint comprehensive plan of action operational again and that it is important to keep the door for dialogue open despite all difficulties." Unquote. A year after former US President Donald Trump abandoned the nuclear deal and reimposed economic sanctions on Tehran, Iran began breaching the terms of the nuclear agreement by gradually upping its uranium enrichment. Now this happened in 2019. Washington and Tehran have been at odds over who should take the first step to revive that nuclear agreement. Iran insists the United States must first rescind the US-led economic sanctions, while Washington says that Tehran must first return to compliance and agree to the terms of the nuclear deal for economic sanctions to be lifted. Now, Ankara was sanctioned by Washington last year for its purchase of Russian defense systems, has repeatedly called for lifting of U.S. sanctions on Iran and a return to the JCPOA. Now, join us, joining us on this broadcast on this big story is political analyst Onur Erim, and he's joining us live from Istanbul. Onur, welcome to Beyond. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Now, United States of America and Turkey are NATO allies, but Erdogan himself has admitted that the ties have been strained. Now, there have been various points of contention, be it uh, the Russian S-400 missile defense system, be it uh, the Kurdish issue, be it America uh, um, dumping Turkey out of uh, the fighter jet program. So why is Erdogan bringing up another issue that could be a contentious point between uh, Turkey and the United States, that is the Iran nuclear deal? Well, I guess the the, uh, the very first rule in, in the international diplomacy is that you want to have a, a continuous uh, communication and, of course, for that, you have to keep the uh, lines of communication open at all times. Uh, yes, uh, the United States has been testing uh, the patience of, of, of the uh, Republic of Turkey, uh, be it their uh, unconditional help to, to PKK, YPG terrorist groups, uh, be it that uh, them trying to intervene the sovereign uh, decision of uh, Turkey purchasing S-400s, um, or be it that they have been uh, kept harboring uh, an internationally uh, known terrorist, Fethullah Gülen, for over years. But uh, despite all these, uh, Turkey has been made uh, made her made her stand very clear on on all of these issues. Uh, the, he, President Erdogan hasn't you know uh, budged down at all in any, any of those issues. But in regardless, with the new presidency, with the new term, um, he is hoping that there is a new page that that could be opened. Uh, whether this happens or not is the, the depends on what, how the U.S. administration, how Biden administration acts from now on. And of course, over the years, uh, President uh, Erdogan Turkey has is always siding with stressed. Iran in this point. Well, Turkey is siding with st stability in the region at this point. Right. Uh, President Erdogan has said repeatedly that this is inhumane to have this kind of heavy sanctions on Iran. Uh, it has also, you know, pointed out ways to Iran to say, you know, we have to sit down uh, with all the international, uh, the entire international community and resolve this issue. Because 
uh, this inhumane um, <clears throat> uh, things that, that the U.S.-led uh, international community has done, sanctions have done to Iran, is, uh, has been hurting the, uh, the people of Iran, and they are our neighbors. So, yes, uh, President Erdogan talked about this now, but President Erdogan also talked about this before. Just uh, stability and humane treatment of all peoples in the region is the concern of uh, President Erdogan, and it should be the concern of all presidents, all nations in the region, because it affects all of us. True that, Onur. <laughs> uh, is there any concern within the leadership in Turkey over the Iranian nuclear program? Is there any concern? There's always a concern, and not just with Iran, with everybody. It's, there's a concern. When, when it comes to nuclear, there's a concern with Iran, there's a concern with Israel, there's a concern with every country that has uh, nuclear power, period. This is not something to be, uh, you know, held or, or discussed, uh, you know, lightly. Uh, so, and, you know, especially <clears throat> when a neighboring country has nuclear power or nu nuclear capability or on, on its way to that, it's of course a concern. Why wouldn't it be? Final question to you, Onur. What will be the ideal situation or the ideal solution to the standoff between the United States and <coughs> Iran? Uh, look, I mean, whether the uh, the chicken came first or the egg came first in this deal, uh, this has to be resolved uh, very swiftly. Um, the, uh, the, the Iranian administration uh, should, within... Not, not without, you know, uh, without uh, so much interfering into their own affairs, into their sovereign affairs. They have to come to an agreement uh, with the international community, not just the UN, United States, by the way, with the international community <clears throat> handling their um, uh, nuclear program. And at the same time, the U.S. has to come to terms uh, with lifting at least uh, humanely uh this this lift on the on the sanctions on iran so um who, whoever does what first it doesn't matter right. it should be done swiftly and quickly Honor, uh